May 29, 1914, the Canadian Pacific Ocean liner Empress of Ireland had sunk after colliding with another ship. Some people estimated the breach in the hull of the Empress to be about 350 square feet. When the Storstadt collided with the Empress, it destroyed the watertight bulkhead between the two boiler rooms. It's the Empress's most vulnerable spot. I cannot think of a disaster that was so absolutely horrific. The lights going out, the ship capsizing and going down in that amount of time. It's impossible to even imagine the horror of something like this happening. Out of 1,477 people on board, 1,012 had perished. How could tragedy strike so swiftly? Of course, the tragic loss of the Titanic, which had occurred two years earlier, was brought back to mind. The sinking of the Empress of Ireland would cast yet another shadow over the glorious era of the luxurious ocean liners. The Empress still displays from the bottom of her watery grave a greatness which makes her a spectacular sight. As you go down in the water, you finally see the wreck when you get down about 30 feet let's say 10 meters away from it, until you suddenly realize you're hovering over something immense. Of course, there's always a desire to go further, to go see what's out there, but there are risks involved and they're quite high. I wouldn't exactly call it a competition. There's no death wish involved, but those dives are extremely dangerous. Evoking her memory allows us to preserve that of all those who perished on her last journey forever trapped beneath the frigid waters of the St. Lawrence River, condemned to a slow and unavoidable destruction, the Empress of Ireland can at least be rescued from oblivion. <laughs>